Hello lovelies, these are my predictions for your GCSE maths paper one. Now this is your non-calculator paper and my one bit of advice for math is to do as many practice papers as you can. Practice papers, predictive papers, mine other people's papers, it doesn't really matter. And um, one of the things that is really important is actually seeing how to answer the questions. So not just the topics that come up, but how can you get a really, really wordy question, and um, one of the things that sometimes throws people off, and then work out what to do. So to help you with this, not only is the predictive paper, there's the walkthrough of the predictive paper as well. So you can see how to approach these questions, what sort of things you should be writing in your answer, how can you lay out your answer to make sure you're showing off to the examiners who really, really know what you're talking about. Now, obviously you should revise absolutely everything. Um, I'm not affiliated with any examples. I do 100% know what is gonna come up on the paper. But we've looked at all the past papers, we looked at the common topics, and we've written so many papers based on questions to around these topics uh, to really, really help you revise. And then there's the video walkthroughs as well. So I would like you to start by looking at bearings, thirds, and trig values. Now, these can be really, really scary, especially thirds. Everyone really, really freaks out about thirds, but it comes up so often. It can come up as a short little question at the beginning of the paper, but then it can also be linked through into some really, really complex algebra questions when we get to the end of the paper and the non-calculated paper just screams please understand your thirds and your accurate trig values because if you're going to learn them the non-calculated paper is the place where they're going to come up because on the calculated paper you can just pop it into your calculator and you're not demonstrating that you've actually learned them. I'd like you to look at progressions so not only progressions and sequences so arithmetic progressions geometric ones as well and how you can work out the difference and work out the next step in those. Looking at your upper and your lower bounds. Now, this can be quite a complicated question. It can be quite a simple question. But actually working out how to do it is really important. Frequency of things, so filling in frequency tables, looking at a graph, that's another area that comes up a lot and I'd like you to spend some time looking at. Equations of straight lines. Now, this could be a simple written equation or it could involve a graph as well. So also looking at ratios, percentages, direct and indirect portion, looking at combinations and solving equations, the areas of shapes and the looking at functions and combining two different functions together. Circle theorem is a great one for the non-calculator paper because it's lots and lots of knowledge and proof, algebraic proof in there as well. So it's a great topic for a non-calculated paper. Decimal to fraction conversions, the way you can show off the non-calculated paper that you actually know what you're doing without just plugging the numbers into the calculator. So spend some time working on those. And then inequalities and trig graphs, the last couple of topics I would like you to look at. But please remember to revise absolutely everything. And if you're in any way confused about any of those topics or you want to see the questions that we've predicted on those topics and how to answer those, then the predicted paper and walkthrough are all linked down below. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.